Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. So here I have five devices, and the two devices on the right are what we've been waiting for. Okay, so you can see that one of them is the Redmi K50, and the other one is K50 Pro. These two devices are currently only available in China, and they are the first devices with new dimensity 8100 and 9000 processor. And these are SOCs built on the latest 4 nanometer TSMC node, and we have very high hopes for them. They are supposedly very fast, yet very efficient. Actually, much more efficient than the current Snapdragon flagship SOCs. Okay, so today we are going to do a benchmark comparison between the Snapdragon 865 Plus, 888, 8 Gen 1, and the two Dimensity SOCs to see exactly how well they perform, right? Okay, so let's start with Geekbench 5. And just to mention that the room temperature is around 25 degrees. And on all these devices, I'm using the optimized or default mode. So I'm not turning on the performance mode because I figure most of you uh, will not be using these devices in performance mode all the time anyway, right? So I'll just choose the a scenario where most of you will be using this, so that is the most representative. Okay, so let's measure the temperature of these devices first. We see that the two dimensity devices are actually cooler than all the Snapdragon devices. And for the Snapdragon, we see that the uh, Newer Snapdragon chips seems to be hotter than the older chips, right? The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is actually the hottest at 37 degrees. And this is quite noticeably hotter than the Snapdragon 865 Plus and the two Dimensity devices. As for score, we see that the Dimensity 9000 is really strong for single core and multi core, right? The single core is as fast as the 8 Gen 1 while the multi-core basically crushes any competitors. It's really, really good in this CPU test. Next, let's try N22. And uh, just to mention that between each test, I've waited enough time for the devices to cool down. So actually, before each test, I will show you that the devices are cool. Uh, I will make sure the temperature are below 30 degrees, right? So this is to give you a best idea of uh, how they actually perform at their maximum performance. Okay, so the N22 test took about 10 minutes and uh, let's measure the device temperature. So here we see that the Dimensity devices are still much cooler than the latest Snapdragon, right? So in fact, the Dimensity 9000 has about the same temperature as the Snapdragon 865 Plus, which we all know had amazing efficiency. And just like in previous CPU test, the 888 and the 8 Gen 1 are noticeably hotter than the rest. As for the scores, we see that the Dimensity 8 9000 actually scores about the same as the 8 Gen 1. In fact, it's a little bit higher. And the 8100 is around the same as 888 slightly lower than that and all of them are much faster than the a65 plus and next let's try gfx bench i'll choose a few representative off-screen tests and uh, just as you can see the device are properly cooled to below 30 degrees and uh, yeah let's go okay temperature first dimensity 8000 at 39 degrees 8100 at 37 degrees, which is the lowest. 888 and 8 Gen 1 are much hotter. 8 Gen 1 is 45, which is the hottest. And uh, 865 plus at 38 degrees, which is quite nice. All right. So here we are seeing a very clear pattern. The dimensity 8100 and 9000 seems to generate about the same amount of heat as the Snapdragon 865 plus, which I think is great while the 888 and 8 always generate much more heat. And then for the graphics score, we see that the 8100 is somewhere around 865 plus and 888, while the Dimensity 9000 is close to 8 Gen 1, but it's about 10% slower, 
Okay, and last, let's do the most stressful test, which is the 3 d Mark uh, Wildlife Extreme Stress Test. So this will last 20 minutes, and I think it will push these devices to their limits. Okay, temperature time. So in this round, it seems that a triple eight somehow performs well at 41 degrees. That is the same as the two dimensity chips. While the HM1 is still the hottest at 45 degrees, right? Uh, yeah, and then for some reason, the A65 plus is a little bit hotter than the triple eight. But if we look at the scores over time, we see a very interesting pattern. For the A65, it maintained 80% of its maximum performance, which I think is great for stability. Both the Triple Eight and HM1 uh, only maintain about half of their peak performance. Dimensity 8100 looks amazing. It maintained also 80% of its peak performance. And actually, we don't see any apparent throttling at all, right? The performance seems very stable. As for 9000, Dimensity 9000 is very interesting. For the first uh, 16 or 17 runs, right, it almost maintained, I think, more than 90% of the peak performance. And this is nowhere to be seen on any Snapdragon devices. But after the 17th or 18th run, we see a sharp drop in performance. So it seems that the throttling kicks in later, but much harder. All right, guys, so that's all for today's video. I think the Dimensity chips are very promising, but I also want to know what you think. You may join the discussion in the comments. Let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. See you next time.